Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Yep. This is, so first of all, new overlay. This is going to be a BSL Season 14 Hasu League Round of 32 Group A. We got White going up against Sony. We also have new sponsor Optimunk for this season, and you got Bombastic Star League, and of course Esports Bun. And I'm going to, there were weird Reddit threads. I think it was, uh, I saw them the other day. It looked like Zero was trying to maybe adjust the timing between everything, but I'm going to say it, guys. Like, us as a community, we need to not be entitled. Uh, I think we need to pay for the stuff we love. And so I'm going to call once again that we should be donating to Patreon. I guess to me as well, if you guys feel... It feels weird. I have trouble saying that, but I'm going to say it anyway. Yeah, donate to me because that will... Uh, I guess growth on my part. Overlord scouting the bottom left-hand corner. But really, uh, I, I do want to prioritize BSL. Looks like we're seeing an extractor trick to get 10 drones upper left-hand corner. Um, but yeah, I want to say despite seeing that this is going to be like way out in the future zero has moved to full-time organizer for bsl i think that is a huge shift that is beneficial in the community and i think that's something that also makes bsl season 14 special and i want him to be able to do that that's something i'm really excited about so be sure to support him on patreon and sub to uh, zzz zero pl if you haven't already in the meantime it looks like we are seeing a gate opener from white interior to the base which is very unusual, PVZ. I'm wondering if White didn't realize that Sony was going. So he's not going to pay for it. We're seeing a 9 hatch. Both directions will get into the actual commentary of the game this time. This is the final match. So whoever wins this advances. Whoever loses is out. And it looks like it's going to be a double gate opener. Nine pool can fight this off. A lot of it's going to come down to scouting information and Sony being on top of having that spawning pool down as quickly as possible. Spawning pool is plopping down. Extractor also there. So this means there's going to be a lot of larva. And actually, I think this... I'm, I'm trying to think of whether this is like the most optimal build versus this. Because effectively what ends up happening is, is you have a little bit of a blunted economy, but you have extra larva to work with in order to produce those zerglings. As long as you have the minerals and the larva saved, you can produce plenty of zerglings to go ahead and take the zealots out. It looks like White now scouting this base. So knows where his opponent is, sees the pool, and now, yeah, just producing the Zelt to block. And this is unfortunately not the economic opener White was looking for, plopping down the assimilator to follow, and might just want to camp the Zealots on the ramp. Fortunately for him, this is a smaller ramp, but he's going to be relegated to one base play. And it looks like several Zerglings, yeah, so, and that's the other thing, you get to produce eight Zerglings, a little bit delayed compared to a nine pool, but you get a lot of Zerglings out on the field. You can see there were two Zealots, so as two Zealots would be marching across, you, they would be running into eight Zerglings and more coming. So initial eight Zerglings going to be moving across the map. They're still going to have to scout. It looks like the initial three Zealots are moving out for white. And this might be Danger Town for Sony because he might get caught out of position. But it looks like currently the Zealots and the Zerglings are on a collision course. Sony needs to save some minerals in the background. Okay, now is he going to... Okay, now sees the three Zealots. And seeing the three Zealots, he knows... That it's a gateway opener. Needs to find the angles and gets a lot of free damage done on his Zergling because he went the back way across that mineral line. Needs to continue to produce Zerglings. Maybe even produce... Okay, more Zerglings are in production. More Zealots coming across the way. It's going to come down to a degree of micromanagement. The probe gets taken out, which is actually a helpful bit because that was going to be an assistance for White in this attack. The Zerglings trying to spread out to get better concavity around these Zealots. More Zerglings coming down the ramp now. The three Zealots... Getting good initial engagements. Three Zealots still stand. The one Zergling that was out of position. It looks like a Creek Colony being dropped with that fourth Zealot moving into the base. Two Zealots remaining. Working on this Creep Colony here. More Zerglings are going to be here, but it's going to be a little while. Now a cancellation. No drones have been taken out yet. But again... Whoa. Never mind. One drone has been taken out. Another Creep Colony being dropped. The Zerglings trying to reposition... And White needs, keep in mind, with this economic opener, he needs to get the damage done. Great micro to pull out the Zealot that was heavily damaged. More Zerglings regrouping. Unfortunately, he's walking into a scenario that's kind of a nightmare scenario with the two-gate opener. The Zealot's trying to retreat now, but they've only gotten one drone out of all of this attack. They've lost a probe on the front, and the Zealots have now been cleaned up. Sony, also with a Creek Colony on his front door. He can get aggressive. Four Zealots are pocketed in that back corner. He's wandering in to go ahead and see what's behind this. He sees the Citadel of Adun and Stargate. So now Sony needs to adjust from here. But he can go ahead and filter in as long as he can get this Overlord pinned to the front. 
What he can do is, is just, or even the Zerglings pinned to the front, what he can do is he can just start pumping drones. He just needs to get a Hydra Sten down. It looks like he's already morphed a layer to go ahead and deal. Let's see if he goes uh, and morphs actually the Hydra Sten. If he get Lurkers, this game's over basically at this stage of things. The first Corsair is going to be out. This could be a dangerous situation because right now Sony trying, he's going to be late to deal with this Corsair and that might supply cap him drastically and with five zealots waiting in the wings and more potentially to come and he supply blocked himself Ugh. so he's in a supply block right this second as this overlord is being assailed there's the hydralis den that is going to be necessary right right now big supply count lead for white however the question remains is how long is that going to last especially two base versus one base so wandering out now putting a pylon on the low ground tentatively that was a very timid drop the forge is in the background potentially to get cannons down another overlord in the air an evolution chamber being dropped i don't think this evolution chamber is necessarily a bad idea actually canceling it but he needs anti-air and a single hydralisk i don't think is going to be sufficient second overlord is going to pop out i don't know that it's going to be able to protect the second overlord so despite the initial zealot attack not doing a lot of damage sony having trouble defending his overlord line with the corsair the corsair is actually sneaking out as well there is a zergling nearby to go ahead and scout things the first cannon is going to come down for white is natural expansion the corsair able to get another overlord once again continuing to put sony in the red he has managed to sneak out a handful of hydralisks which will allow him to at least hold on two base but right now with a lot of the early game yeah and here now the zealots come initially and honestly and some dark templar out in the field as well for white so white's Follow this up with a one base Corsair DT play, which is really going to lock Sony down. And honestly, his option here is to macro, macro, macro and try to catch up. So despite what I would call a rough opener, so maybe I'm off on this and White did everything absolutely right, forcing all of the Zerglings. Sony, shifting back, getting his second base established, is going to have to worry about potentially establishing his third base. Sony actually going ahead and opening up this mineral field in the back line potentially wanting to go ahead and grab his third from a defensive slot lurkers are being morphed and that is going to negate a lot of the tech that white can field right this second no side storm morphing zealot leg speed is coming online but these are all melee units that get absolutely obliterated by lurkers but in the morph of the lurkers he's allowed that hatchery he's left no hydralisk for himself and more overlords are getting obliterated so finally one hydralisk marching down but that's been another three overlords that have been wiped out the lurkers are starting to march there is a cannon there keep in mind but there are, this might be zero overlords left for sony so he might be all in on what's left with these lurkers just an incredible amount of damage there moving up does have to back out this is at the least going to give him a lurker contained situation the Corsair continuing to damage these overlords. Wow. And so that was a, a massive... I don't know who to call ahead right here. So on one hand, Sony has managed to get the Lurker line and get a form of Lurker contain on his front door. White, however, several workers ahead. The Lurkers are trying to do a run-by, but they're running into Dark Templar. Nothing going right for Sony. So now it's going to be a much smaller Lurker Contain. That was a brave maneuver that did not pay off. So White now at two bases. I'm going to call him actually ahead. If he can just get that robotics facility down and get that observatory online. Sony, yeah, is going to need to clear out and get a third base established. But he's got to feel uncomfortable doing so. Finally, some overlords there. It looks like getting, uh, moving more towards a Hydralis mid game, dropping the third. I don't think he's familiar with Metaverse right here it was maybe thinking about opening this up to grab here but then didn't realize maybe the the power generator the power generator was in the way still no overlord speed finally grabbing a second gas is way behind but does have a light contain on the front so things kind of resetting in the midst of this the overlord loss though was horrendous that was what seven eight overlords that's 700 minerals Plus a lot of the Zerglings that were forced to be built towards the early game that did not stop White really from taking that natural expansion. 
for quite some time. It looks like we've got four gateways now coming online. Currently white at double the supply of Sony. But the thing is, is Zerg can surge back in these situations. Fourth hatchery plopping. More Hydralists going to group up at the front. An Observer going to help these Dark Templar push these oh, lurkers off the front door. That's also going to allow White to potentially get aggressive. Which I think he's, yeah, not going to get punished for, honestly. Because a lot of those lurkers have been expended basically for nothing. You have Dark Templar Zealots Dragoons now moving. Now, does White go for the more defensive economic play? Or is he going to go for just a frontal assault on this third? And I don't think that Sony has enough to defend this at all. And even if he does, that's going to be a lot of resources spent on defense while White's economy continues to grow. I think this is going to be the GG moment here. As White, with double the supply, nearly double the supply, walking the expansion, the Observer a little bit out of position. Hydralist group from the high ground engaging. Creep Colony morphing. The Hydralisks not quite able to get position. And on top of that, the Observer has been picked off, but those, there's no lurkers to support this. So Sony going to lose this third base. Still trying to micro these Hydralisks to make something happen. Bought some time to get the Sutton Colony up. More Hydralisks now grouped up, engaging on the low ground. At least there's Overlords here to see the Dark Templar, but not enough before that third is taken out. However, another third is being built at the 9 o'clock location. So Zony, Sony still wanting to fight it, still fighting for his tournament life. The Observer along the corner. Level 1 weapons did come online in the midst of that fight. That is one advantage is the uh, level 1 weapons has been delayed from White considering all of the opener. But White, happy to take out that third, is going to back up. Also has a shuttle to potentially go for some Dark Templar drop, potentially Storm drops. And that would be very, very powerful at the main. Sony stabilizing a little bit. Has somehow caught up in the midst of this in supply a little bit. White was supply capped quite a bit, but in a very defensive posture. 9 o'clock base is up, not yet saturated. Drones are starting to filter in here. Sony's economy has just been absolutely shattered, though. And we have four Dark Templar. That is a lot of Dark Templar looking to drop on the main, and I do not see an Overlord anywhere nearby. Overlord speed still not upgraded, so this could be the killing maneuver. The Hydralisk's completely out of position, and Sony sees nothing. Two Hydralis being produced. He's probably going to lose his lair. The Invisible Men, I tell you. Marching in, blades in hand. Two Hydralis spawn. He does see the, the Shimmer, but he's not going to be able to save that spawning pool. And he'll be lucky if he saves this lair. Okay, it looks like Overlord's... He was going for transporting, sorry. Transporting right there, not Overlord speed. Hydralis are going to group up. So loses the spawning pool, loses some mining time. That's going to be precious, precious mining time that he's losing. Man, Dark Templar do so much damage. And actually, out of out of the end of this, that might have been a... Let me try to do the calculation here. So he loses his spawning pool. He'll, he'll need to rebuild that. He lost some mining time. But that was 4DT that died and got maybe a kill. So I'm not sure. Maybe an even trade right there. But regardless, White has made, managed to stymie Sony's economy. He's still way ahead at 114 supply just to the 70 of Sony. He's got all sorts of workers. The Observer looks like High Templar. I believe Psystorm has been upgraded. He's going for Calderon Amulet now so that they spawn with more energy. Double Forge is now on, on the field, which means the upgrade advantage is eventually going to swing to White's favor. Currently, plus one weapons is there. He's going ahead and grabbing his third. You can go ahead and grab that third and get aggressive to go ahead and attack Sony at the 9 o'clock location. Looks like level 2 weapons is going to come online momentarily. The Hydralisks holding back. Still no spawning pool being... Oh, there's a... Is, no, Spire being dropped, but no spawning pool. So just relying on Hydralisks, trying to save every little bit of cash, I guess. But this is a big ball that is moving out. And you got the Hyd... Yeah, and the Hydralisks... I don't think you're going to be up. I'm shocked that Sony's still in this match, to be honest. And while this is happening, we've got a drop at the 9 o'clock. The Zelt's pouring things out. High Templar dropping. Psy storming the natural expansion. I think that is going to be all she wrote. Yeah, Sony calling GG right there.
So Sony gonna get dropped out of the round of 32. That's unfortunate. It's hard to see a friend of the stream get eliminated. But White will advance once again to the round of 16. In his second ever. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.